So it's actually a positive thing, I mean, for youth. In Afghanistan, as, uh, we don't have much entertainment. I also want to take it outside of Kabul to other parts of the country, to capitals like Mazar Sharif, Herat, Jalalabad, Kandahar, so that the rest of Afghanistan can uh, experience what we experience here in Kabul. <laughs> Of course, people who are conservative and are uh, opposing the new type of music and arts, and we have been dealing with so many uh, hard days through our music career over the past few years, and uh, but still, there are people who like our music and they are supporting us. These kids are, they're coming from a place of having not been able to express themselves for a long time and then and now having the freedom and it's like, it's exciting and it's, it's they're kind of creating their own genres. We thought a Women's Day would be necessary just because women in Afghanistan don't necessarily feel comfortable enough to go out with men at, at concerts or anything else for that matter, at social events. So a way to give them a safety net, but then for them still to enjoy art was to have a women's only day. I think it can go ahead, but we have to plan a lot more strategically and we have to really listen to the, to the Afghan community out there to make this happen in the right ways.